Breaking news. The Nigerian Army has reportedly released the veteran actor Chiwetelago, who was detained for wearing the Biafran outfit. Nollywood actor Chiwetelago, arrested by the Nigerian Army on Thursday, has been released. This was made known by a video post, which was posted by the Nollywood actor Emeka Ike on his Instagram page on Thursday. According to the video, Chiwetelago was released via the intervention of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Some soldiers had arrested the actor around Opiwaka Bridge in Onicha for wearing an outfit with the Biafran inscription or insignia. Chiwetelago was reportedly on a charity mission to assist underprivileged persons when he was arrested by soldiers. The Nigerian army thereafter confirmed the arrest of the veteran Nollywood actor, saying that he was arrested for promoting the cause of the secessionist group, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, by wearing the Biafra regalia. In a statement signed by Onyema Mwachuku, the army's spokesperson Chiwetelago was picked up for questioning while he was allegedly asking Southeasterners to join IPOB, a proscribed group. Accordingly to the statement obtained by Sahara reporters, the army said that Chiwetelago's action was a violation of the law considering the proscribed status of the IPOB. The Nollywood actor donned the same Biafra outfit that landed him in trouble with soldiers when he was released at the army headquarters in Enugu State. The Punch had earlier reported that soldiers on Thursday arrested the actor around Opiwaka Bridge in Onicha for wearing an outfit with Biafra inscriptions. Chiwetelagu was reportedly on a charity mission to the less privileged when he was arrested by soldiers. One of the Actors Guild of Nigeria representatives said that the actor is hale and hearty. Speaking in the video recorded on the premises of the Nigerian headquarters of the Nigerian Army headquarters in Enugu, Chinwetalagu, who wore the same outfits he had on when he was arrested, encouraged Nigerians to keep supporting Nollywood. It's the only hope we have to sustain both our public and private lives. Earlier in a viral video, the actor was seen seated on the bare floor with soldiers around him. Chiwetelagu had said, I, I can wear this. This is the rising sun, not Biafra, not the Eastern Security Network. This is a civil dress. With my education, I know areas to go areas not to go. I was sharing 10,000 naira worth of bread when the soldiers came. No campaign. Nobody was doing any demonstration or carrying, out, carrying people along. Even people who were hawking, I was giving them bread. Some Nigerians who were gutted by the action of the military had described the act actor's arrest as illegal. Nollywood actor Emekaike has called for the release of his colleague Chimwe Talagu, who was detained by the Nigerian army for allegedly soliciting support for the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. In a post on his viral, on his official Instagram handle, the actor had called for the release of his victim, sorry, for the release of all victims of conscience, including the embattled leader of the IPOB, Nambekano, as well as the Yoruba Nation agitator, Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igbuhu. Actor Emekaike had written, release all victims of conscience immediately. Your belief is you. Your ideology is you. Tyranny never pays. Dialogue is golden. Release Sunday Igbuhu. Release Mazin Namdekano immediately. 
The world is watching and history never forgets. Chewet Alago's arrest had raised public outcry after a video of him being taken away by men of the Nigerian army went viral on social media. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular um, situation? Well, um, the good news is that actor Chinwe Talagu has now been released from custody. The situation has surrounded, you know, his arrest and all other issues, you know, probably might have been discussed and settled, whatever I can tell, but true to the fact is that the intervention of several big wigs, you know, must have led to his release, probably conditionally or unconditionally. We don't have the full details yet, but as it is, while some people are of the opinion that um, he denied Biafra, personally, I did not. I do not think he denied Biafra. He was only being um, logical in the face of um, brutal, um, you know, accusation in the face where he is actually facing I mean, in a situation where he's facing um, a life or death. Now. And apart from the fact his defense is true because what he was putting on was not IPOB or the Eastern Security Network. What he was putting on was an insignia of Biafra, which every Igbo man, whether in the East presently or not, bears a mark of the Biafra situation. That you cannot take away from every Igbo man. Take it or leave it. Every Igbo man alive today lost someone directly or indirectly to the civil war. So you cannot take that emotional attachment. You cannot take that um, that belief, that 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 part of them that draws sentiments and attachment to the Biafra. You cannot take it away from an Igbo man. And that, for me, was what Chiwetalago had dis di di displayed. And also he had displayed courage. Whereby, what you believe in is what you believe in. He has displayed courage and encouraged people not to give up on where they are coming from, which is the rising sun. They will rise up again. The Southeast will rise up again. True to the fact, this is how I see it. Everybody has um, uh, a right to see things from their perspective. But for me personally, I believe that the man had done no wrong. What he was being accused of is actually not the truth. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Please drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.